How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the Blue Shed. Welcome back to Starfield, where... Alright, so I've made a few discoveries, and I've done a little bit of work. I kind of wanted to showcase a little bit. This is kind of a resource farm I've made on a planet. Just getting some basics, like iron, nickel. Um, I think we have some cobalts here as well. Um, and then I, I'm, I'm also... I've also got a connection to a couple other star bases so I could get access to helium-3, aluminum, all that good stuff. It's been sitting here. It collects resources. I have a bed I can sleep in. I have some craftable stuff. I even have a bounty clearing station because that became pretty relevant fairly quickly. So, I just wanted to kind of give you a brief kind of glance at this, mostly because I learned something rather interesting. Oh, oh, oh. Gravity. Okay. So, I had issues recently. I was literally arrested because I had contraband on my ship, didn't realize it. Um, I did a little bit of digging and was trying to figure out how to get shielded cargo, but it turned out I accidentally learned that I can actually access shielded cargo right now. If I can modify my own ships, it turns out when you go to the ship builder here, you get access to just a ton of parts that weren't accessible on New Atlantis. So real quick, I'm going to try and modify my ship and give it some extra cargo if possible. I really don't know much about the ship builder. I've been kind of playing with it for a bit. My overall uh, feeling for it so far is that I don't have the resources to make a ship that I want yet. I need to get more money. Um, but if I can at least get that shielded cargo, it'll give me options and it will make it so I'm more likely to be able to actually sell some good stuff. So I'm going to dink around with this for a second and we're going to try and get that shielded cargo because then we're going to continue working with the, with the, uh, Crimson Fleet or, well, kind of working with them, obviously. So let me see if I can get this to, 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 to work out. Okay. So yeah, I uh, made the modifications and we should now have shielded cargo. Uh... It's a little longer, and it's got some wings now. <laughs> uh, I can't say I'm a fan of how it looks, but yeah, now we got two cargo holds. We got a basic, and we, we got the shielded, and we have the basic. Um, I, like I said, not the huge biggest fan, but it'll do until I get the capability to make, you know, my custom, I, a custom design, a fully custom design. What is that? Oh, it's my own ship. Okay. So, all in all, pretty happy with this. Um, I, like I said, I want it to be more, but I need better equipment and I need a lot more money. Because, like, this pretty much drained all my, my accounts. So I have to get some missions done so I can earn some moolah. But I really needed that shielded cargo hold. So while it's definitely not perfect, it'll do. And then um, if I save up some money, I, I really want to just try and build from the ground up my own ship. Uh, but, I, like I said, at this point, I don't really have much choice. Uh, we're just gonna have to go with it, and so yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed. I obviously didn't show you like the ship building because like while ship building's fun. Like I already like even that little bit of like a puzzle, and I enjoyed the puzzle part. Uh, it's definitely far from perfect, um, and it's definitely not something that really I don't know might be meaningful in, for some people. Like maybe some people can make it interesting, but I don't think I can. So I gotta go. Um, I'm gonna head to ideally Mars to get healed because I got some frostbite apparently. I don't know what happened. I think I was just on a cold planet for too long. Um, so I'll get that cleared up and then we'll probably pick up because uh, the next mission for the Crimson Fleet stuff is uh, going to be checking it back in with the Admiral. And then I think we're getting inducted fully into the fleet. And once we're there, I'll decide if I want to continue the Crimson Fleet or if I'm going to start one of the main plots. Like, I think I think I want to do at least one of the main story missions this this episode. So we'll, we'll see what happens, but we'll get to that in a second. Anyway, unless something crazy happens, I'll see you with the Admiral. I almost forgot, actually, just before we leave. I literally was just about to take us off, and then I remembered That's Sarah's been I bugging me that she needs to talk to me about something. Yeah, so this is that new hab area I added to the ship. People say I need more hobbies. I Thinking about you. Hello, fan. Oh. About you. oh. Hey, Sarah. Three. What's up? Right there. Here. I have something for you. Oh, yeah? You don't have to get me anything. Eh, it's not that big of a deal. I picked it up on one of our latest planetary expeditions. I'm more than just an extra gun, you know. Well... Well, I appreciate the effort. 
I'm just pleased I get to utilize some of my old field collecting skills. It's been a while. Did she just pick Check up some random gear or something, or like after uh, mining? Planetary jaunts. If I pick anything up, it's all yours. Sweet. Sealant. Cool. I'm glad. Thank you for that. Hi, right, Sarah. Here we are in the bar. Grab a drink. Let's have a chat. What do you want to talk about? Remember our last conversation when you told me the artifacts made your mind and body feel out of sync? Okay. Well, it got me thinking. So I dove into our archives and started looking through Constellation's older journal entries. Okay. Just because I wasn't familiar with the experience you described doesn't mean the same might have been true for my predecessor. Oh, I never mentioned my predecessor before. Really? I'm surprised that I haven't. Wonder what happened. After reading those journals, all of the pleasant memories of my time spent with Arja just started flooding back. Aja must have been an amazing person. Ah, oh, she absolutely was. Aja was the one that taught me the ropes at Constellation and took me under her wing as her protege. Okay. Or he being paired with the chair. Sounds awfully familiar. Hey, so I pinched a few ideas from my old boss. <laughs> Can you blame me? Nah. At any rate, we logged quite a few discoveries together. But it was the actual journey that I cherished the most. Aww. You know what? I, I, sorry, I find the journey boring, but I live for the destination. No, it's the journey. The destination tends to be the boring one, especially with a Bethesda game. Not that that's a, too bad, but, like, I'm curious to see. Because so far, Fallout 4 and, um, uh, I think, like, well, Skyrim wasn't too bad. Fallout 4 definitely wasn't great with its delivery of the finale, but... You know what? I can relate to that. Exactly. For me, it was all about the quieter moments. There was nothing quite like sitting back and watching space bend while listening to Aja spin vivid stories to fill the time. Aw, that's cool. Oh, I find that sort of cozy isolation the best way to really get to know someone. Gotcha. Uh, since I'm getting for your position, <laughs> so I've noticed. I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you. Oh, yeah, it's you nice. Know, all this talk about Aja reminds me that my time with her was a gift. Yeah, I wonder what happened to her. I miss her dearly. So she's uh dead. No, she retired. Living on Porimachi. Who are you? Why? Don't pay. I'm having a conversation here. Who are you? Yes, you get back to your own stuff. No! Introductions. Go away. Who are you? She's just staring at me. Hmm. Well, hopefully, I'm a suitable substitution. Yeah, you'll do. <laughs> Look. I don't expect you to be an exact copy of Well, good, because I'm sure I'm not. Your hunger for exploration, to pierce the veil and seek the unknown. It's get, 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 bond go bond away, good grief, oh, lady. That <laughs> flirt. I don't know if I want to flirt. I think, I think Sarah is a good friend. I don't know if I'd want to be like, oh, let's go get hitched, especially because, I don't know. I, I think um, Blue's not the kind to get tied down. If you're wrong, I hope you won't be disappointed. I won't be disappointed at all. And if it turns to be the case, uncertain things will continue to run smoothly. That's optimistic. Anyway, that's all I had to discuss for now. Thanks for spending time listening to me. It really helps. No problem. I think it'll be fun to go and visit Aja. We have a few other things to do as well. There's a few side quests that uh, I'm probably going to try and do. Uh, I, I, like, again, I did, I try to avoid stuff, but the game tends to throw quests at you, and I happened upon one that's a series of debt collecting that I think we're going to start as the chain, just because it seems like it'll be a fun, uh, Am alternative. Sorry. Who are you? I don't even know who you are. By the way, I accidentally ended up dropping out of warp here when I had a bounty, and they all, including the super big ship, just lit me up. It was... A bit of a nightmare. Commander Econde wants to see you. I'm sure he does. Sure he does. Here. 
for flavor, we shall remove the suit. I had a friend on the Regana. I hope I'll be able to see him next time we're on shore leave. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Well, luckily, luckily for you, you will. But I think it's interesting that you, Side F Cadet, just happen to know what my secret missions are. You coming, Sarah? All right. Hello, Admiral. Hey, hello. How you doing? Got a wager going over whether the fleet will let you in or leave you for dead. And uh, unless you're a zombie, I owe the ops team lunch. I don't like this, like the passive aggressiveness of everyone here. It's getting a little annoying. You have permission to speak freely. We got the message from the Regana about Austin Rick. We had him dropped off at a separate port, off the books. Okay. Suffice to say, he's got a lot to answer for. <sighs> Let's see. I risked my cover to do it. You better appreciate it. I do. I know it's a delicate tightrope, and it doesn't go unnoticed that you're risking your own life to walk it. Every tightrope act needs a safety net. We appreciate the fact that you're behind us, Commander. Yeah, but for how long? Uh, one more thing before we move on. For transparency's sake, you should know we were the ones that hired Ecliptic to attack Neva's ship. There was concern after what happened with the Regana that you might have trouble earning Neva's trust. Oh, the attack that happened after. Rescue ensured that would not be a problem. Clever. That was a clever way to ensure Nevera's trust. Ah, so I take it you have good news. Were you able to join the fleet? Does, it does seem like I passed the initial test. Then it worked. You're in. Sounds like everything is going as expected. Now it's time for the next phase of the mission. Our intel on Searsha was correct. After we received reports on your interaction with Adler Kemp, we picked up on your rendezvous with Neva Mora. Our files indicate she's second in command, so getting on a good side will ensure you get into the Crimson Fleet. Gotcha. Hmm. What do you know about Nevera? The woman has a record that could stretch across Sol and back. She started young as one of Neon's street rats. Worked her way up to second in command. She's a force to be reckoned with, so don't underestimate her. Neon sounds like a place I need to go visit. Hmm. Everything's going according to plan. That makes me nervous. Yes. You pass your first test and you're still alive. But before we get too confident, that either means she suspects nothing, or she intends to make an example of you later. Yeah. Just remember, these are ruthless criminals. So don't let your guard down. And their ruthlessness is only surpassed by their cunning. You should proceed with caution, regardless of how well you think you've ingratiated yourself. So what's next for you on Neva's agenda? Hmm. Now, I don't know why lying would make sense. Let's are here. I was told to meet Nevera at the key. Where you'll meet Delgado, no doubt. Delgado is the leader of the Crimson Fleet. Okay. I have a profile here with some information on his background. You'll want to know the individual cadences of every member of the fleet, but Delgado's most of all. Okay. Agreed. The last thing we need oh, is let's to check, read that the out. fleet, only to be kicked out because we've underestimated one of their people. I don't disagree, but it's important to know your enemy and the best way to defeat them. In any case, now that you're with the fleet, you'll be operating independently. We will shadow you eventually, but we'll need to maintain our distance for now, especially while you're on the key. Right. This will also give us time to bolster our defenses, should we need to engage with the fleet in the future. Sir, on that note, shall we begin implementing the upgrade to our shields? Immediately, Lieutenant. Notify the engineers and relay the information to the crew. Why am I here I for this? I hope your entry into the fleet has overcome any doubts you may have had regarding your mission. It certainly increased my estimates on I wonder success. if I can try and play a double agent. Keep up the good work. We'll expect further reports. Dismissed. All right. So I might take a quick peek at those, uh, at that information. Okay, start with El Delgado. Delgado, 44. Clever, shrewd, careful, calculating. Okay. 
Originally hailing from Aquila City, Delgado fell into crime at a young age despite being born into wealth. His parents exiled him for his hopes of, uh, in hopes of correcting the behavior, yet this only served to increase his criminal behavior. Culminating in the theft of a cargo ship, which he used to initiate himself into the Crimson Fleet, Delgado's shrewd, clever leader who isn't prone to rash judgment. He keeps a tight rein on the Crimson Fleet, but has given his pirates enough latitude to do what they do best. It's a good balance to strike there. Being shrewd, being known for harsh, uh, but not rash, judgment. Now, Navina, uh, Navia Mora. Short fuse, temperamental, intense, incendiary. Not my favorite. 32. Uh, Navea Mora was born and raised a neon orphan at a young age. She spent most of her youth getting arrested for crimes, ranging from simple assault to grand larceny. Was a frequent visitor of the Sif Def prison. At 22, she stowed away on a transport to Aquila City, where I was eventually recruited to the Crimson Fleet. Addendums. As more information on Crimson Fleet captains is gathered, additional profiles will be added to Commander Akenda's official, ter official terminator. Terminal. So I wonder if I can, like, have to go to his terminal to access it. And then Adler Kemp. 45. Hot-headed, comp uh, competent, seasoned. Adler's a Crimson Fleet ship captain operating out of Sidonia. His hot-headed nature means Adler is easily provoked, which has gotten him into numerous scraps. Despite this flaw, Adler is a seasoned ship captain. Most cases, he can use his battle prowess to escape sticky situations. And more information will be added later. Okay, so we got our profiles. We got our, our intels. Uh, I, I guess I want to talk to you real quick. We don't have a full map of the... Things are progressing rather quickly. I'm sure the commander is pleased. You mentioned the Vigilance is upgrading its shielding. That's right. It's something we've requested a while ago, in preparation for a future conflict with the fleet. Once we finalize everything and run a few tests, we'll have the defenses needed for a jump to the Crick system when the time comes. Mm -hmm. Why hold prisoners aboard the Vigilance when you could send them directly to prison? Two reasons. First, Commander Akande's playing this operation extremely close to the vest. That means keeping prisoners under his own roof until this is resolved. Second, this is an undercover mission. For our safety and yours, we need to keep these prisoners out of the spotlight. Right, because word travels. All right, why is it called the Crick system? The system was originally called Alpha Ophiuchi until a flag was planted there by Jasper Cricks, the founder of the Crimson Fleet. Since it was crucial that space travelers avoided that system, navigators marked it as Cricks on star maps as a warning. They could have just as easily labeled it Crimson Fleet, so I'm guessing the pirates themselves were responsible for spreading their leader's name. Not a bad idea, really. Over the years, people forgot the system's original designation and started calling it the Crick system. It's been that way ever since. Not a bad way to do it. Good luck on the key. Yes, I'm sure I'll need it. All right. Maintenance crews are the unsung heroes of the vigilance. Cause like, I wonder if I'll have the opportunity. What if I could sabotage the shields? Whoa, Sarah, calm down. I know you want to get out of here, but I, I, I let's, 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 let's bring it down a notch. Thank you for your set. Today, you what? I appreciate that. Thank you, adoring fan. Jump. We're right on target. Whoa. Here we are. The key, level 50. When are you actually trying to attack a base? Like a star base? Like, what would that even entail? Nobody hails the key. Just do your business. Should have seen that coming. Like, who? Why are you trying to talk to people? Just dock if you have business here. You idiot. Cut. Now get out of my face. You said the take was 10k, but it was 30. Big difference on 40% of 10. Versus 30. You wanted 4K, you got 4K. Not my problem. Oh, it is a problem, though. If you're stealing from me, you bet your ass it's your problem. I mean... <clears throat> really? Are you kidding me? Way to make a mess in front of my new rook. Hey, steal from me and get caught. Better off dead. Honestly, I agree. Sounds like you did the fleet a favor. He... Now toss this body out of an airlock before it turns into a damn air freshener. I mean, you, someone goes, like, you offer a percentage and, like, they they go back on you on that? That is a terrible way to do business. The hell took you so long? Forget how to grab jump or something? I had my own affairs to deal with. I don't care. Time is money and you've wasted both. That ends today. Clear? But, all that aside... You made it. So now, you get to hear a nifty history lesson. Uh-huh. Pencils ready? Good. 
This floating scrap heap you're standing on is called the Keep. Used to be an old UC military star station, and now it's the fleet's base of operations. Might look a little beat up on the outside, but we keep it together. Hmm. That really pisses the UC off your station, dear. <laughs> you think? And that's only part of it. I'll let Delgado fill you in on the whole story. He tells it better anyway. But I can give you the short version while we walk the station. Story time? Hmm, how delightful. Anyway, I'll tell you all about the keep. But it's better if I show you too. Follow me. Need the way. All right. History time. So, the key is in orbit around Suvorov. That's the very same ice ball where the United Colonies built a supermax prison they call the Lock. Ah. The UC is so clever. Supermax prison, Lock, Key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I get it, I get it. Hello, everyone. I'm Gail Dunnigan of SSNN, and this is Galact Talk. My guest tonight is one of the most notorious criminals in the settled systems. His ruthlessness and desire for wealth has landed him squarely at the top of the wanted list for every major law enforcement agency in the galaxy. I am, of course, speaking of the self-appointed leader of the Crimson Fleet himself, Jasper Crix. Good evening, Mr. Crix. This is old. Good evening, Gail. Thank you for accepting my invitation. Yes, well, being blindfolded and then Grav jumped to what appears to be an abandoned mining facility isn't exactly what I call an invitation. Yeah, it's well, I'm sure you're not surprised that your request for an interview would come with some very specific conditions. Frankly, I was a bit surprised to receive any type of response at all. Would you mind telling me why you decided to do this interview? Because there comes a time in every pirate's life where they have to make an extremely important decision. Mm. Do they take a leap and become one of the most legendary pirates in history? Or do they simply sputter on, subsisting on freighters and deep space privateers? So are we to assume that you are taking the leap? That Jasper Crix is moving on to bigger and better things in his life. Okay. That's spot on, Gail. That's exactly why you're here. Interesting. Well then, would you mind sharing with us exactly what your particular leap entails? In due time. There's no rush. In fact, I'd say we have at least 12 hours before the authorities trace this broadcast. Plenty of time to discuss whatever you like. Interesting. Oh, <laughs> all right then. Perhaps the best place to start this interview would be at the beginning of your career. Please, proceed. All right, interesting. Anyway, continue with your history lesson. He is a bit of showboater. Reckoner's core. Ah. We've got everything the fleet needs right here. Of course, you've got to pay for it. Remember, on the key, credits are king. I am very short what on the credits. What is this? All right, all right, hang on, Nev. Before you get pissed, I've got my hands full. Jasmine, sweetie, I'm trying to give a tour here. So you want to tell me why those damn doors are sealed? It's called a malfunction, you know. That thing I spend most of my day dealing with, believe me, my people are on it. Have a little faith for once. Aww. And you always, Angel. This here's Jasmine. You need anything for your ship, she's got you covered. Ooh, very nice. Get up the depot next since these doors have given out on us. So anyway, we were talking about the lock. About a hundred years ago, the prisoners down there rioted and took over the place. After stealing some ships, they were actually able to make it up here and took over the key. That's impressive. About time you brought us new blood, neighbor. I was getting tired of trading with the same old faces. You're just ticked everyone's getting wise to your ridiculous prices, Aludra. Anyway, welcome to the depot, Rook. 
Well, you'll be lucky if these blood-sucking leeches don't bleed you completely dry. Whoa, whoa. It's not our fault that people don't appreciate how much it costs to get untraceable merchandise onto the key. Oh, yeah. Neva's just whining because she thinks she lost a ton of cash selling us a shipment of gear. She should have done her homework. Yeah, sure, laugh it up. I'll remember that next time I need something from you cheapskates. Let's move on. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Back to my story. After the liberated prisoners grabbed the key, they established it as a base of operations and began pirating the spaceways. That was how the Crimson Fleet began. Of course, Jasper Cricks had a lot to do with all that, but uh, we'll get to him later. Rook, meet Zuri, queen of the rare exports. Hello, Zuri. If I don't have it, you don't need it. Neuro amps, blueprints. Hit her up and she'll take care of you. Interesting. Speaking of which, you still owe me for that last purchase, Neva. It's like five figures. Don't make me collect it the hard way. <laughs> the hard way? Oh no. Rook, protect me from Zuri's vengeance. Enough of the bullshit, Zuri. I'll pay you when I pay you. Deal with it. Got a problem with that? Take it up with the boss. On the right, you've got Bradley from the Trade Authority. Okay. I'm sure you know the deal there. Yep. He'll buy pretty much anything, no matter how hot. Then we got our med bay on the left, run by the one and only Samina Mizra. She'll patch you up, if you've got the money. We don't run any free clinics up in here, you don't? Know? Oh yeah, makes sense, makes okay. sense. Okay. Pure capitalism. This is our final stop. Over there, you've got the last Nova, where Bog serves watered down drinks at ridiculously exorbitant prices. And right here is the most important place on the entire station. The Reckoner's Core, run by the incomparable... Oh, Boss. interesting. Another new Rook, Neva? I can't believe Delgado still lets you recruit, given what happened with the last one. You mean Austin Ray? It's been taken care of, all right? I don't like loose ends, and this oh. was the one who tied it Isn't off. he the one we had to take out? Perhaps next time you'll try to be a bit more discerning regarding your choices. It's far more cost effective. Yeah, yeah, love you too, darling. Interesting. Anyway, Shinya handles our lifeblood. The money. We call him our reckoner, but if you ask me, He's actually a pain in the ass. Mm hmm And Neva will slit your throat if she thinks you'll bleed creds. Go to hell, boss. Take care of our new friend here, or I'll find a way to pull the pin on that little party popper in your chest. Anyway, Shinya will get you set up in our system. I've got real work to do. Once you're done, head upstairs and I'll introduce you to the boss. Okay. Time for a proper introduction. Sounds good, sir. I am Shinya Voss. The official reckoner for the Crimson Fleet. And since Neva so thoughtfully mentioned it, yes, this is a bomb embedded in my chest. And no, I'll never know the meaning of the word humble. In a fact, weird choice. I find Delgado's idea of a security measure to be quite empowering. Oh, Delgado has thought it. That's the most clever security measure I've seen. Glad you approve. Obviously, betrayal isn't taken lightly around here. Since I oversee the bulk of transactions, it'd be and easy for him to extort. Counts for the fleet. I'm a prime target for information. Right. Yeah. Should our enemies capture me, or I grew any semblance of a moral conscience, you might consider me the greatest threat we have. I see. For Delgado, the bomb grants peace of mind. And a certain degree of safety. Bet you don't get out much. It's been over five years since I've stepped off the key. Leaving this place puts far too much at risk. Yeah, that sucks. Now, let me get you set up. A moment while I convene with the core. Thanks to advanced modifications even Dugin would envy. I can interface directly with our mainframe and the Galbank network. Interesting. This allows me to move and clean credits faster and more efficiently than any run-of-the-mill cyber runner. There. You're done. So he filters all the creds. Interesting. All you need now is Delgado's blessing, and you'll be one of us. Time to make those credits. 
The perfect segue into my final subject. Thanks to our relations with contacts across the galaxy, we always have a steady stream of jobs available. Interesting. I've granted you all the necessary permissions to access these listings at any time using the computers that's oh cool. so the job terminals can now give me crimson fleet jobs because it recognizes me that's actually really clever because it just looks like a normal bounty clearing mission so like i just go on get a job and leave but i'm actually getting missions of the pirate that's really cool what kind of jobs oh you know smuggling piracy taking things that aren't yours nothing that should keep you up at night well Depending on your methods. I see. Sounds like we'll be doing a lot of business together. If Nava's chosen wisely, we certainly will. Now, I believe that covers all I have to say. So you can run along to Delgado. That's Take pretty the cool. Elevator to the upper level. You should be able to find your way from there, I hope. I have to say. Alright, listen oh. up. So, I was gonna say, compared to like the Thieves Guild, which was one of my favorite guilds in um, Skyrim, I also liked the uh, Dark Brotherhood, but I liked the Dark Brotherhood better in Oblivion. I think they had a lot more fun and were more creative with the stories there. But Thieves Guild was was really, eh. Like it kind of failed in a lot of ways. Wow, self-service bounty clearing right here. That's funny. Um, because, like, the Thieves Guild quest was so much revolving around Nocturna and the Skeleton Key, and it really wasn't about the people. This, like, 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 it was hard to really truly understand how the Thieves Guild operated other than, like, as a miniature mafia. This feels like a real operation with real, like, like, well thought out. Like, how would a pirate fleet that's not only, like, operating but well known for operating actually function? It makes sense that they'd have a like a Neuralink and a specialist who can launder money at lightning speed faster than thought. It makes sense that they would have a coordination and be able to do logging systems. It makes sense that they would be able to like slip um, specialized kind of bounty contracts for Crimson Fleet members anywhere in the verse where they happen to be at a normal like contract terminal just by hijacking it and making sure it can recognize us in our ID to recommend us specific jobs. It's almost like uh, like an AI system that would like that, cu that curates like jobs for you, kind of like what the um, on the YouTube page when it rec makes recommendations for you, how like it tries to cultivate based on like your recent watch history and such. I imagine bounty boards would operate with a similar algorithm just to try and make sure to feed jobs to people who they like would it would be seemingly more fitting to and maybe more likely to accept. And now they've hijacked that signal so they recognize as Crimson Fleet members and gives them Crimson Fleet contracts. That's such a cool concept. It's so high level thinking for, for the game design and the world building, which I am absolutely all set. Like, I am all for it. That's really cool. So, this Delgado. Uh, ah, there are some other new recruits. Other? Mathis Castillo. So, now that we are all here, it's time to get down to business. Sounds good. The two of you are the only rooks that have made the latest cut. <clears throat> the rest, right. All right. They say they won't be joining us. Yeah, Every yeah. Day. Neighbor's willing to put her neck on the line and vouch for you, which means you've got what it takes to join the Crimson Fleet. Nice. I won't disappoint. You'd better not disappoint, or you'll find yourself answering to me personally. All right, let's get started here. When you sign up with the Crimson Fleet, you're in it for the long haul. No one quits. No one retires. The only way out is death. I see. You stay loyal or you pay the consequences. Fleet before friends. Fleet before family. Fleet before... So it's a cult. Cool. Oh, that doesn't include fleet before breakfast. I like to sleep in late. Hey. If you've got a problem, I can decorate that wall behind you with your brains. Room could use a little color if you ask me. I was joking, obviously. It's all right, neighbor. I admire this rook's backbone. Takes a lot of guts to crack jokes with the threat of death staring them in the face. Yeah. Can we get on with this? I want to get drunk at the last Nova. I like his beard. I'm impressed. That is the first intelligent thing you have said this entire time, Mathis. 
Since you two seem so eager to move forward, let's get to your next job. Gotcha. Pack your cold weather gear, Rooks. Where we are going, you're going to need it. Ooh. Oh, God, don't tell me you're dragging him down to Suvaral for another one of your little initiation runs. Ten Johns to the surface, twelve dead Rooks. You think by now you would have given up on that goddamn campfire story? Crix's legacy is no story, neighbor. We've got fresh eyes in the fleet. And if these two want to impress, they're going to help me search those ruins. Interesting. I hope you're right, Dale. That new code we grabbed for the lot cost us a ton of credits. And a decent captain. This initiation, as Neva calls it, is your chance to see where it all began. On Suvorov with Jasper Griggs. Griggs led the riots that gave birth to the Crimson Fleet. And if his legacy is still out there, we're going to be the ones to find it. Okay. So what is this Crick's legacy? Before Crick's left the fleet, he left a message talking about a major score. One that would set up the fleet to be a big player in the settled systems. Somewhere down the line, they started calling it Crick's legacy. And everyone who's tried to find it has wound up empty-handed, missing, or dead. If we're gonna beat those odds, We'll first need a lead, and I would wager we will find one on Suvorov. Okay. Dale's leaving out the best part. That this whole search is based on a handful of words on a very old slate. Cricks left a lot of big talk on that record, and not a lot of facts. Some of us believe in it more than others. I see. <laughs> Don't listen to her. When we get our hands on Cricks's legacy, the fleet will be operating at a completely different level. We will become more than a match for UC Sistef. Hmm. Won't the fleet just become the larger target for UC Sistef? You forget the UC is still licking its wounds from the colony wars. They don't have the capability to mount a full-scale assault. And if they were foolish enough to attack, we would have the manpower to push those pendejos right back to Jemison, if we have Crix's legacy. Hmm. Well, if you're right, we'd be unstoppable. I'm, I'm skeptical, but hey, you're the boss man. Exactly. Now you're beginning to understand. Okay, enough discussion. We have got a lot of work to do. To that end, the next stop is the lock. I've had Jazz feed the coordinates into your ship's computer. Since Mathis doesn't have a ship, he's going to ride with me. I'll see you down there, Rook. Don't keep me waiting. Sounds good. Can you tell me anything more about his history before he ended up in the lock? <laughs> I could tell you stories that would last for hours. But now is not the time. You have a job to do, and I don't like to be kept waiting. Yes, sir. When you... Well, if you get back to the key... I am sure you can find some copies of the interview he gave to SSNN around here, somewhere. I think those recordings might give you the history lesson that you are looking for. I already found one of them. Alright, let's go. I might look around a little bit, but I probably won't show much of it. I'm just gonna check some of the stores and see. But again, I have like no money, so it's really not... There's really no point. Um, my biggest thing is probably gonna be like... Because conveniently, I imagine I can sell stolen goods here. So if there's anything worth having... I might just nick it real quick and then sell it. But I'm guessing that that thought has crossed their like their like crossed the minds of the people who made the game, and thus there won't be any real significant fines on the station. And if I get caught, I get dusted. Let's go and meet up with Delgado on Planet Side. I'm guessing it's just down below because this station orbits Welcome like. Thank you. Oh, look at that! There's like a red star. Interesting. That's cool. All right, let's see how we do. Setting down. Everything in the green. Oh, look at that ship! Man, I wish I could take it. All right, that's a cool. That's a that's a cool looking ship. Mine looks uh interesting. <laughs> About time you got here. I just left. I told you you were wasting your time, Dell. And here I thought you liked surprises. 
I hate surprises. Just do what I say, and you might even walk away from this without turning into a goddamn <clears throat> ice sculpture. And Mathis, I am running things around here, so keep your mouth shut. Yeah, what? that's right, Mathis. <laughs> Fine. All right, listen up, because I am only going to go through this once. We are here to dig up any info about Grix's legacy. We are not here to scrap for loot. Whatever you pick up, <coughs> don't think, don't get creative, bring it straight to me. Okay. Sounds simple enough. <laughs> so simple, even a rook like you can't screw it up. Hold on, no scrapping. How the hell am I supposed to make money around here? All right, that's enough. If either of you want to fly with the Crimson Fleet, then you need to follow my one word is law. Rule. When you're on a job, you do exactly what I say. No questions asked. If that doesn't work for you, just say so, and I will leave you on this ice ball without a ship. You will be dead within hours. Yeah, yeah. Understood. Oh, and there's one more thing. Your little friend can tag along until we get to the outer doors of the prison, but I will be damned if I'm letting them inside. Oh, very nice. I'll just remain here and soak in the planet's lovely winter-like atmosphere until I go hypothermic. Just take care of the ship. We have a lot of ground to cover between the landing area and the lock, so let's get moving. Sounds good. Better uh, equip my uh, ranged weapon then. So, how much you want to bet we're going to find a Wampa down here, right, fellas? Are these, like, specifically here to generate heat to make the passage? These are the scorpions from Fallout. Got more of the buggers. Oh, he's jittering. So, looks like we're finished clearing out the baddies. Here we are. Alright. The place where Jasper Griggs laid the groundwork for finding the legacy, and eventually, the Crimson Fleet. The lock. Hmm. Exactly how long was Jasper Crix in this place? Around five years. Rumor says he started planning his escape the moment that he arrived. I'm sure he did. I'm ready. Yeah. He needs to get this thing open, like, right now. It's freezing out here. Then crank up your suit heat, Mathis, because it's probably not going to get much better once we are inside. Well, without wind, it's going to be all right. Let's keep moving. Standing out here isn't doing us any good. Let's do this thing. All right, Sarah. This ID card cost a small fortune. Let's hope it pays off. Bingo. We are in. Let's go. All right. I should check real quick and see. Uh, as far as weapons go, are any of these new pistols really worth it? Eh, I mean, in a pinch I'll use them. All right, what's in the lock? Gonna be a vault tech vault. First time I have been inside this part of the lock, so keep your eyes open. Is it anything unusual? If it's hostile, we may be in How many people did the UC stick down here, Dal? A couple of hundred at least. Might not look like much, but it was better than trying to survive on the surface. Not much better. Even with the heating on, this place looks like a goddamn dump. Now you know why the prisoners got fed up and looked to Crix to lead them out of here. And that's how the Crimson Fleet began. Yeah, yeah, we've all heard the story. It's not a story, Mathis. It's history. Remember that. Now, keep your mouth shut and your eyes open. Yeah. I gotcha, Delgado. Very interesting. I wonder what we're gonna find down here. 
Because the thing is, like, you gotta remember, too, it's a prison colony, so they likely were building stuff or working on things. Yeah, sure. Must have been awful. Better them than us, though, am I right? They would have been us. Wait, step a second. Did you hear that? Wait. What was that? We got friends. Oh, fetch me. Fetch me. That's a lot. Why can't I reload in the air? What? I didn't mean to do that. No, I wanted to reload. Oh my gosh, look at these things. Ow. Hey, Mathis, how you doing, buddy? You look like you're having fun in that corner. Must be a nest. I bet these things are crawling all over the place. Yeah, and their bodies probably heard us firing from about a kilometer away. Hallelujah. <sighs> oh, Sam. Sounds like someone needs to grow a pair. If we weren't on this job with Delgado, I'd drop you for saying that. Enough already. I should have known better than to bring both of you at the same time. Now, let's see. Looks like we are inside some sort of prisoner transfer area. But everything is locked down tight. Since you are such good friends, why don't you and Mathis head up to that control room and see if you can get some more of these doors open? Oh, sure. Mathis, you're gonna, you know, be able to extradite yourself from the corner that you were still at? Yeah, you're still here. You're gonna, you know, come out of here? Or is this bench in your way? You know what? I think I'll just do it on my own. I have a feeling you weren't gonna be so much help anyway. So where are all those other dudes? I saw them walking upstairs. They just not gonna come back down? <laughs> oh, this is starting to feel like Skyrim. Oh, here you are. The whole roof's coming down. Oh, jeez, you're you're not wrong. Well, that's cool. This ice and rock must be several meters thick. God damn it, we're cut off. Oh. Hey, Dell, can you hear me, Dell? Shit. There's no way we're getting through here. Well, this is just great. The hell are we supposed to do now? Hmm. We stick to the plan. The plan? Who gives a shit about the plan? Let's face it. We're on our own now. Hmm. Then we should continue to follow Delgado's orders. Why? Because that's what his loyal little soldiers are supposed to do? The hell with that. I have a better plan. Oh, sure. We use this opportunity to take out Delgado. <laughs> in time, make some serious credits for ourselves. You can't be serious. You really think that that would be... Like, look, taking out Delgado is the thing you have to do because otherwise you have to be able to replace them or somebody else is. Are you serious? We're really doing this right now? Yeah, we're doing this right now. Or maybe we should wait until the next time we're on an alien world and separated from Delgado by an ice fall. I should shoot you myself for saying this crap. Whoa, whoa, hang on. G g give me a second to explain. Let's pretend for a second Delgado's correct. And there's information here about Crix's legacy. Yes. Once we get rid of him, we'll dig up the garbage ourselves and sell whatever we find to Neva. We'll be rolling in credits. How do I know you're not just a plant set up by Delgado to test my loyalty? Are you crazy? I'm no rat for Delgado. I'm busting the ass to become one of the Crimson Fleet captains just like you. And in case you missed it, that ice fall trapped both of us in here. Unless we find a way out, no one's reporting anything to anyone. Ever again. Not gonna happen. Oh, fine. Suit yourself. You know, for a second there, 
I was almost starting to respect you. I never was respecting now, you. Let's find <laughs> For a second there, I thought you might have an actual like brain in that head, but no, you don't. Because again, I have nothing about replacing Delgado. If I can replace Delgado, I will. But the thing is, you'd be an idiot to do so without a plan. Boom. I guess that's one way through. I literally kissed it and it fell over. Weapon workbench. Ooh, I actually should check this real quick. I, I was hoping I could do what you do in Fallout 4 where you transfer I, uh, transfer stuff from here. Like I take off this long barrel and, you know, do that, but guess not. This place is starting to get to me. I mean, it's full of bugs. I wonder if he used these robots to, to gain control of the station. That would make a lot of sense. It might be why mechs are apparently like illegal. Or mechs are, are, are mechs like a, a suit someone is inside. I swear I am never putting ice in drinks ever again. Anyone still alive up there? Use the intercom up there if you can. Is anyone up there? Not now. I'm looting. Answer if you can. Transfer air control workstation. That'll be useful. Damn it. Is anyone there? Can either of you hear me? All right. Calm down. Hang on. Butter. Crap. Is this thing even on? Quit screwing around and pick up. So the two of you made it, huh? Yeah, we managed. Ugh. <clears throat> Hell of a way to start this job. Don't worry, it all goes downhill from here. <laughs> <laughs> now listen up. We have obviously been cut off, so I need you to do two things. First, I want you to keep looking for a way to open the rest of the doors down here. Otherwise, I'm not going anywhere. And second, try and dig up whatever you can about Jasper Griggs. You both got that? Hmm. How are we supposed to open the doors from up here? Dios mio. Do I have to explain absolutely everything to the two of you? Oh, I guess there's a control room. We're standing in the control room for this part of the facility. Look for a switch or a terminal or make a wish. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that, that line was worth it. Got it. Yeah, you'd better. And tell Mathis not to get any bright ideas or I will gut him myself. Yeah, that, Mathis? What did he just say? Hope you paid attention. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Alright, message. Warden, uh, transfer operation. Please be advised all prisoners are classified and sent to their proper intake area based on the following criteria. Standard prisoner for A, B, uh, violent for C, high risk for D, solitary confinement for E. Alright, security chief. Uh, please be aware we have a case 5, extremely dangerous, highly volatile prisoner transfer current today, Jasper Cricks. He'll be arriving shuttle 05 with a full detailed escort. The individual to be immediately transferred to D block upon arrival. Do not attempt to search or perform standard medical examinations until the prisoner is in a secure location. I urge all security personnel not to underestimate Crick's ability to escape custody. So he was already pretty well recognized as being a, a risk. Alright, it's overdone. That should do it. Yay! Attention. Lockdown mode has been rescinded. There's got to be a way out of this goddamn place. I found the way out of this place. You suck, Mathis. Can you imagine how angry the prisoners were when they rioted? I would hate to have been one of the guards. Yeah, no, they, uh, they must have been, it must have been horrible being here. I mean, look at that. You're looking at the result. All right, let's see what we got information-wise. Okay. Please be advised, we are taking all staff complaints regarding intolerable temperatures with the lock very seriously. Unfortunately, our facility has been provided with poorly engineered heating system that is woefully inefficient to combat the cold, leaving some sections of the prison in temperatures as low as 5 degrees Celsius. Fetch me! Administration understands conditions within the lock are less than ideal for staff, so we ask you for your patience while we wait for an improved system to be delivered from New Atlantis. In the meantime, portable heating units and cold weather gear have been made available for assignment. Please see your, your supervisor for details. Bleah. And that must mean it must have been awful for the prisoners. The security alert is being issued for all personnel has been brought to our attention that some of the prisoner population have discovered a way to create improvised weapons by carving chunks of permafrost from cell block walls. 
Thermal coils from portable, portable heating units are being cannibalized and used to manufacture these dangerous items. Therefore, security has no choice but to remove the portable heating units from all prison cells. Extra blankets and cold weather gear, such as jackets and thermal undergarments, will be distributed to replace the units. If you observe any prisoner in possession of an imp improvised weapon, be certain to activate a blue alert before approaching the subject. So, yeah, prisoner riot was inevitable when they took away the heating that was keeping people essentially from dying because they were then using it to make weapons. This is actually super, like, it feels like this legitimately would happen. Uh, I'd like to congratulate Brian Richard for winning last month's trivia contest. The most questionable below, what type of pul what type of star pulsates rapidly, which causes it to vary in diameter, temperature, and luminescence pulsar? What is the name of a neutron star with an extremely powerful magnetic field that might occur after supernova? Um, a neutrino? No, it's like a neutron star? No, it's a neutron star with extremely powerful magnetic field. I think it's a um, quasar. That's it, quasar. What is the second brightest star in New Atlantis' night sky? Not sure, but New Atlantis is in Alpha Centauri, so the second brightest star would probably still be Betelgeuse. What are the largest known structures in the universe? Largest known structures would... Well, okay, depends on what your definition of a structure is. Galaxy, possibly, but then superclusters would most likely, because a supercluster is a collection of galaxies. What is a graph called on which the intersect with brightness, uh, inter, uh, instinct brightness of stars is plotted against their temperatures? Oh, fetch. I used to know that. I can't remember it, but I used to know it. Anyway, power control system. Uh, activate D block auxiliary power. So we are in D block right now. Yeah, okay. So this was where he was being held. Dude, look at that. What the fetch? Was that the way it looked? That's amazing. Like, if it looked like this, or is that just formed over the years, like, slowly, like, as, like, water seeped in? That's cool. Man! I gotta admit, the atmospheric design is fantastic for this. Wow. This place is gonna be full of a big monster, but dang. Yeah, you can see them down there. Danger. Cool. Do they actually see me? I love the shotgun, but I also hate it because it only has two shots. I need a, like an automatic an assault shotgun. An assault shotgun and a sniper rifle would make me very happy. Hey, Mathis, how you doing? Glad to see you're not dead. Well, a little. I, I mostly want you to be a bullet sponge for me. Visit the London landmark on Earth. Oh, cool. I just picked up a random book and it told me to go visit London. That's actually really neat that I get to go find some ruins there, apparently. Oh. They aren't paying us enough to be poking through this scrap heap. Let's see if I can, uh... That's one way to do that. Oh, yeah? You gonna pitch me our idea again? So, have you changed your mind yet? No. Quit bringing this up. You're gonna get us both killed. Yeah, right. You saw it back there. Those things, whatever they were, they probably ripped him to shreds by now. Did the job for Then us. it won't be an issue. And if they haven't, we can still handle the job. We just have to get our hands a little dirty. Wouldn't be the first time, am I right? Yeah, but I make it my point to do it in an intelligent way, and this is the most stupid way to do this. No way, Mathis. I'm not going to be part of your plan. Of all the people to get trapped here with, why the hell did I get stuck with you, huh? Fine, have it your way. So, <clears> now that <throat> we've made it to the guard tower, what's our next move, genius? Find a way out of this place, keep looking for info on the Crisk on the way. Keep doing what we've been doing. Right. <laughs> Glad I asked. I'm not sure why you I did. I suppose we should start off by searching the tower for the location of Crisk's cell. Absolutely. If we stashed any useful information, it might still be hidden somewhere inside. Not a bad idea. It's gonna be at the bottom of this pit, I'm sure you. 
I'm sure. All right, D block switch control. Warning, do not unlock cell uh, block switches without performing a full identity check on the on-duty personnel present on the switch. Uh, follow all security safety protocols as outlined in the lock uh, manual. Okay, so I have to know their names to unlock the, the switches. All right, Warden Tom Glipsby. Ongoing security concerns, please adhere to the following procedures when accessing prison cell blocks for inspection and prisoner roll call lineup. Report the report switch station for your assigned block. Ensure there are a minimum of four security personnel in position. Use the switch station intercom to contact the block tower guard. Write daily cipher code for access. Wait for the tower to unlock your switch station. Activate the switch station. This will open all cells in your assigned block section. Once the activity has been completed, res remember to secure your block. Uh, doo -doo -doo. D block has been de designated for a high risk personnel unit, which means it'll be housing some of the most dangerous offenders in the facility. All D block security personnel are therefore fully authorized to use whatever force is necessary to defend the lives of any staff member that might be threatened by an inmate. If a weapon is discharged in line of duty, be sure to file an ARP 07 form on any available workstation. And please note, security has come across items in cell D02106 that could be catalysts for a potential escape attempt. At the time I'm sending the message, that particular cell was unoccupied, so regular inspections weren't being performed, meaning that our team overlooked the contents. Please keep this cell sealed, and we investigate and handle some of the issues that have suddenly popped off my, onto my radar. So D02106 looks to be our one. <clears throat> oh, wait, let me see. So it was D02106. So D02 corrupted. And then in 03, sounds like he's in here. Um. Okay, so maybe it's process of elimination. So he was in 02106. All right, and D section 03, and there's a cache in 02106. Okay, so that's optional. Sweet. Cell D-03118. Okay. It's a place to start, I guess. Requires computer? What computer? That definitely looks like a stash in there. Oh, cracks his journal entry. Store price is permanently reduced by two and increased by two. Okay, so that's actually, uh, like, so his, he has a series of journals. Man, these showers would suck. What the fetch are you? Heal again. There we go. Oh my gosh, look at all this. And dick pics, yes. Oh, suppressed calibrated Grendel. I don't think that's any better than what I currently have, but the dick pics alone were worth that. Sweet. Okay. Very, very good. Pry open the base. Aha! Best laid plans. Hey, I bumped into someone in the mess hall yapping about a ship carrying a fortune and credit. I know it's usually bullshit, but he seemed to have details. Ooh. Crix's legacy. Aww. This is exactly the score I've been waiting to find. I need to contact Carter and let him know what it's time to get off this rock. 
Nice. He'll help the mining details slip into the utility closet and ventilation room. That's where we'll dig. Not up, but through. <laughs> right to the armory. Ah. Clever. I found that closet by accident. By this time next month, I should be out of this dump and uploading those creds into my account. All right, that makes sense. Elgado was right. Cricks must have hit the Galbank transport and stashed away the money or something. If we play this right, and we're gonna be filthy sticky rich in no time. So, is it gonna take me now to that shower? I think it is. Cause I ran into it and you couldn't open it. Really? Again? I cleared this place out. Oh, there's like these fluke things. Whatever they're all about. All right, in here. Bingo, cool. Art plus. Red sticks. And hundred years old. Eh? It's amazing this entire place hasn't collapsed by now. Carter's gig. Okay, Carter. Confirming that the latest code to the utility room is four eight six one one zero seven one. The mining crew tells me it'll take them a week to cut through the ice. So I'm giving you that long to square your end of the plan. When the tunnel reaches the armory. I'll get my people to start a riot. When you hear the fireworks go off, get your ass to the shuttle bay. We get one shot at this. If we play our cards right, this gets us one step closer to that fortune that went down with the legacy. Right. You report any of this to the guards. Well, you know what'll happen. Okay. Now, we gotta access the escape tunnel that's through the back of maintenance and into the armory. Now, I'm guessing there's not gonna be anything left there because of, you know, a prison riot had happened, but still might be worth it. I bet those things are crawling right behind the walls. Ugh. I'm amazed this thing is still operating. Holy crap. All right, what do we got here? Open the door. <clears throat> Can't believe this is where the fleet started. It's history, man. Blows me mind. It's interesting that you didn't seem to care about it until just now. Bingo. So they dug through all this. I'll try and get a sneak attack on something. Was this an armory? Looks like they cleared this place out. Of course they did. Well, well, what do we have here? Uh, give me a sec. This sort of come in handy. Oh my gosh, what the fetch is that? Can I have that? That looks All freaking right, cool. Because I have the feeling he's going to try and kill me. I'd prefer it if I could have a drum bee. Is that what that is? Okay, that's in a dig pick. That's what's good for it. Every time I say dig pick, I feel like, like something, like YouTube or someone's going to be like, excuse me, what? Like, what did you just say? Dig pick. Dig pick. They must have picked that name on purpose. Look at this dump. I can't imagine being 
stuff down here to rot. Poor bastards. Event supervisor's workstation. All right, uh, Wayne, we're going to have to put a stop to the prisoner birthday celebration that you instituted last year. I understand the moral of the prisoners is directly connected to how well they rehabilitate, but these events have become far too destructive and dangerous. I know it's a disappointment, disappointing, but at the end of the day, we're a prison facility, not a hotel. These people are here because they committed heinous crimes against humanity. They'll just have to deal with the loss of these parties. And uh, this is from Harishman. This month's trivia answers. Oh, okay. Um, here are the month's answers. Make sure the proper forms fit out. What type of star pulsates rapidly cause it to get to answer? A safe and variable star. Oh, boohoo. That's a pulsar. What's another name for a neutron star that's green with a magnetic field? A magnetar. Okay. Fair. Second brightest star, Canopus. I could. I, there's no way I could have known that. Galaxy filaments. Superclusters. Same thing. And the Hertzberg Russell diagram. Yes. Okay. So I. 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 I, I think I won on technicalities, but yeah, in an age like this, I imagine getting more specific makes a lot of sense. A hundred years old, eh? It's amazing this entire place hasn't collapsed by now. Honestly, you got a point there. I am amazed that without any upkeep, this place isn't just a ball of ice. The liquid didn't transfer down into this and just fill it in. Oh, fetch me! Fetch me! Oh, exit. Damn you while I got you. Okay, now, how do I throw grenades? Oh, fetch me! Out of the way! Whew. Holy crap. That thing sounds crazy. If we get out of here, remind me to thank Delgado for hanging us out to dry. Yeah, I am sure we're both gonna have a nice long chat with him. Warden's office. Alright. Oh boy. Oh, it's on the surface. That's why it's colder in here. Looks like this was the warden's office. They built the office right next to the shuttle bay for quick escapes, I bet. Oh, I'm sure, I'm sure. Let's check his workstation first, though. Alright, the latest supply ship has departed. I'm livid. So I, I simply don't understand they expect me to run a prison without proper equipment. The heating system's inadequate. The water filtration units are constantly malfunctioning. We have insufficient automated security to bolster our overtaxed guards. I have no idea why my repeated requests are being denied. Not running an adventure camp here. Arsony. People are dying. Please let me know if you'll be filing my request to find yourself someone else to run this place. All right, uh, as requested, here's a criminal history for Jasper Cricks. Transfer got approved, which means it's gift wrapping for him, but I uh, send this to a comms relay. The guy's screaming dangerous. Tom, be careful. Okay, listen, in order of severity. So, burglary, criminal interference, theft, burglary, theft, arson, indecent exposure, destruction of property, twice, aggravated assault, one, two, three, unarmed, armed, and security officer. 19 counts of that one. Like, these are in, like, look at all the counts, by the way. Holy crap. Attempted murder, 19. Murder in the second degree, 93 counts. Murder in the first degree, 24 counts. Holy crap. I'm getting concerned that something unusual is happening at the lock. Seismic sensors have been picking up anomalies for the last week or so. Can't identify the cause. I've been sending uh, readings to our engineer. She insists the anomalies are man-made, not planetary in origin. I've had the staff tear the place apart from one end to the other. Can't find the cause. I'm hoping it's simply faulty machinery, but something could be going on within the prison population. I've instituted surprise cell inspections and daily prisoner headcounts to check, but everything seems normal to keep you informed. So that might have been the, the digging. It also could be the bugs. Things are getting stranger and stranger down here, Arsony. Bits and bone have been discovered in the facility's incineration unit. According to the physician, the fragments belong to two individuals. They were both killed using a sharp, serrated object. The prisoner in question were from block D, D block. No known relation to accomplices. I have to 100 suspe suspects in D block, so narrowing down what happened is going to be a challenge. This incident is the seismic anomalies are leading me to believe something big is going to happen to the lock. I suggest requesting an additional company security dispatch here immediately. 
Yeah, that was most likely what that was. Where have you been? Quit screwing around and pick up. Yeah, sure, buddy. I hope you found something because I am getting sick and tired of this place. You and me both, buddy. Thanks to Mathis' help, we found some information about Kriska's legacy. I knew it! Everyone said I was out of my mind! But something told me we'd find the answers down here. Looks like I picked the right people for the job. Yup, that's right. It was a team effort all the way. We had each other's backs the whole time, Del. Is that Mathis? Tell him to shut up so I can think. <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry, Del. You go right ahead. Our ships? Ah, uh, here we go. I'm looking at schematics for the lock. And I don't think there's a way to get you back to the surface from them. Ah, oh, But no. I can open the outer doors to the shuttle bay and let you fly one of the shuttles down there directly up to the key. Hmm. What about my ship? Don't worry about your ship. I will send some people down to get it. You just get your ass on that shuttle and get out of here. I'd rather meet up so we can all leave at the same time. Yeah, sure, and I wish gold coins would start raining from the sky. Now, if wishing time is over, maybe you'd be kind enough to stop running your mouth and listen for a change. Okay, let me see. One of these probably opens the door. Shuttle bay activated. Initiating the icing process. Please stand by. That's a good sign. Yep, that's got it. Might take a while, though. Those bay doors have not been opened in almost a century. You have done a hell of a job, Rook. We will talk when you get back to the key. Hey, uh, Mathis, what did you think of that? Hey, um, look, I, um, well, I wanted to thank you for not being a jerk and hounding all the glory on this run. Hey, you shot some bugs, I shot some bugs. You were the extra gun that got me through this place alive. That's true. Well... Thanks all the same. Look, um, about all that killing Delgado stuff, why don't we just forget about everything that I said? You know, like it never happened. Hmm. Already forgotten. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I promise that you won't regret it. I hope so. Now, let's get the heck out of here. Yeah, let's go, buddy. Hmm, so I can't do master locks yet, unfortunately. But, looks like we can get ourselves out of here. But I don't think we're over just yet. This is where I imagine our big bug's gonna be. Let's just go ahead and do a quick save, cause, you know, there's no way we're not gonna fight something here. Oh, yep, yeah, there's the big one. It's got multiple health bars. God, it's level 19 too. Yishka. That thing tears it up in close combat, so it's like a, like a laser shotgun. Sweet. That went rather well. Oh, what a mess. You ready, Mathis? Let's get out of here. Dang. Dang, that was cool. Nice fun little end fight as well. Okay. I wonder if this kid becomes his ship. Because he doesn't have one. Alright, let's see what this says. Door control interface status closed. Open the door. 
Oh, this is like a, okay, it's a prison transport ship. That's kind of fun. Kind of implies like you could have a like a live bounty type of ship. Like what if you could install this in your ship and you could go capture bounties like, um, like with like non-lethal, like knocking them out or something and you could transport them live and get a better bounty for them. That'd be really cool. I hope they did that, but something tells me they didn't. Dang. Like, the fact that it exists means it's possible. Your box too full. You'll slow us down. Calm down. I got this. Here we go. Oh, this thing has, like, no... It has no weapons or anything. Why are you talking on the radio, Drawing Fan? You're not here. Ugh, this game. It does so good, and then it just, it's like, why? Why would it drop the ball like that? Sweet. What's up? There you are. The hell took you so long? You say that every time. It's about time. I was about to fly down and loot your bodies. Not now, neighbor. Well, you said you found something. Hand it over. Here you go. That's it? Just one slate. After losing so much of our crew, it better be a map with a big red X on it. Mm. Well, I'll be damned. Legacy wasn't referring to Crix's fortune. It's the name of an actual ship. A Galbank transport probably loaded with credits. Never heard any stories about a Galbank ship going down. And even if it had happened, it would have been picked clean years ago. Depends. No, neighbor. Think. If Galbank covered it up, and over time, the location was eventually forgotten, it wouldn't be on anyone's radar. Mm. Okay, this changes things. Now that we know what we are looking for, we have to narrow the search. So the legacy is real after all. And the recording that you found proves that it is out there. All we have to do is find it. It doesn't prove that it's out there. Let us start with what we know. It was a Galbank ship. Which means the company is going to have records of where it went down. Neva, weren't you working on a deal with Rokov? Something about a big wig charity event on one of Trident Starliners? Are you serious? I've been working on that gig for three months. That's my score. Ay Dios mío. Will you shut up about your score and think for a second? That Starliner has a Galbank VIP suite aboard. Which means... Come on, Ava. This isn't hard. Which means a Gal Bank exec will be aboard. We grab their credentials and get ourselves into the Gal Bank archives in New Atlantis. Holy shit, that might actually work. I'll send a message to Roll Call. Right Interesting. Away. Pack your bags, Rook. You're going on vacation. Sweet. And since you've earned it, take this gun with you. Might come in handy. When Rokov screws everything up as usual. Ooh, keel hauler. Legendary pistol. Always wanted to take a deep space cruise. Good, because that is exactly what you are going to be doing. Neighbor and I are too well known to walk around the Starliner without being recognized. If Trident Security spotted us, it'd be over. I need you to board that ship, make contact with Rokov, and get me those credentials. Sorry, my cat meowed. All oh, you need are the Galbank credentials. <laughs> I see what you are getting at, Rook. And don't worry, I would ask the same thing. Just be sure to get those credentials. Anything else of value you find on Rokov Starliner is all yours. All right, I'll get it done. You'd better. Oh, before you leave. I wanted you to know that I took what you said about Mathis into consideration, and I've decided to let him join the fleet. All right. Why are you letting Mathis's future hinge on my opinion? Because you're the one that finished the job. You followed orders, and you put your neck on the block to get that data to the key. As far as Mathis goes, I'm sure you had to drag him through the lock and prevent him from doing something as stupid. Well, I think you made the right decision. We'll see. That's it then. Next stop for you is Rokov Starliner. 
a siren of the stars. Ooh. And remember, Rockoff does not need to know anything about Griggs's legacy. For now, it's just between us. Now get out of here. Hey, Rook, before you head out, I need to have a word with you. Meet me at the last Nova after you wrap things up with Mathis. All right. Sounds good. So, we are going to be ending here. It's been a long episode for me. I would love to do the final wrap-ups, but this is going to be plenty good. We are here, the Crimson Fleet. We've officially got contacts. I can sell stolen goods really easily. I have... Just shut up. <laughs> I have a lot of... I have a shielded cargo. I'm pretty much... I am finally, I think, ready to really sink my teeth into the game, which means that we're not going to be going to the Starliner quite yet. I want to knock out at least some of the main plot storylines. Uh, there's some side quests I want to do, so we'll probably be doing some of that next time. But I'm excited. Any last questions about the job? Ask them now. I'm going to, Delgado. I'm so excited about this. I think it's going to be very exciting to see where this goes, uh, this job. Like I said, I think Crimson Fleet is the Dark Brotherhood and um, uh, Thieves Guild kind of perfected in a way. Because it makes so much more sense about what they're doing here, where they came from, their story is more engaging. I'm really excited to see how it plays out, and I'm really interested to see what else I can end up doing. I kind of might, I might want to go back to the lock and explore some more because I found that one like, like journal that was there that gave me a permanent buff and it said like a uh, number four. So I'm guessing there might be more if I go back to the lock and explore it. But I was running on, on fumes. I had, a, I was carrying a whole lot. So now that I've been able to get rid of my gubs a bit, I might head back down there sometime, but that would probably be something I do in my own time rather than something I would showcase. I'm going to focus on getting quests done when I'm doing the videos and doing the the back end stuff on my own terms. So, thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed the series. I am definitely loving the series, and I'm curious to know like what you've thought so far about this. I'm guessing most of you will have already played the game, and so I'd love to know like what you thought about this quest line when you got to this point. No spoilers, obviously, but I'm curious to think what you thought, because I'm genuinely impressed. I think the story crafting, the, the locations, the character acting, like the the animations are a little eh, but the but the actual like voice work has been fantastic, and I've really enjoyed the voice actors work here. So, yeah, I'm excited. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being part of the channel. As always, it's a pleasure having you here, sharing this joy with me. And until next video, watch me and see me next. I'll see you there. Not now, Delgado. Shut up. Bye.